Greetings, minions. Pibbling Z here. And today I want to talk to you about getting ideas and developing them into stories. You all know where I get my ideas. I've told you about that warehouse in New Orleans, and I can't really tell you how to come up with ideas. I mean, maybe a little bit. I can tell you how to develop them from an idea into a story. There are many different places that you can get ideas. You can take things from news headlines for inspiration. You can uh, take things that for, you see in your everyday life. You know, you can overhear conversations and get inspired by that. You can follow along with something that you adore, like a, a movie or a video game, and take a little bit of that as inspiration to, to come up with an idea for a story. You can do all sorts of things. But the thing I find most helpful are the what if questions. What if? Now, you ask yourself these what if questions like, what if aliens invaded Ohio, but they only had sausages to fight with? I mean, they're weird questions, they can be, or they can be perfectly normal. You know, what if a guy wanted to ask a girl to the prom, but it turns out she was a fly? See what I'm saying? There's all sorts of things you can come up with with the what-if questions. Something I've found incredibly helpful, though, are brainstorming sessions. Like you get together with a, a fellow writer or a group of writers and kind of bounce ideas back and forth. Like let's say you have the inkling of an idea where you're like, you know, I really want to write something about space clowns who wear underwear on their heads. Let's say that's your thing. Let's say you really, really are married to the idea of writing something about that, but you don't know exactly what to write. Well, then you bounce these ideas off of other writers, sit there in a conversation, and they might not even have any ideas. They might sit there and just let you say things, and you'll come to it on your own, or they'll be like, well, what if the underwear came from this factory that was possessed by demons? Because writers generally don't ask the normal questions. We generally ask the cool questions, because... We cool. I know I've said it before, but the writing community is incredibly generous. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to lean on your community because writers are there to help other writers, to help create other writers. We're not in competition. Something that may help you is that I have always thought that a good story begins with a good villain. So maybe start there. Who's standing against your protagonist? Why? Why do they seem unbeatable? Now, this is my general approach. Your mileage may vary. There's no wrong way to come to the page. Just come to the page. Once you have your idea nailed down, yay! It's time to get to know your protagonist. The best way you can do that is sit down and interview them. Ask them, what's your favorite color? What's your greatest fear? What's your biggest strength? You know, ask them what their desire is. Ask them these questions. Know everything about your character. Most of these things will not end up in your book. They just won't. 80% of the things that you learn about your character and the world and the research you do aren't going to end up there. The reader doesn't need to know them. You do in order to pull off an authentic story. Once you know them, get to know the world in which they live. What's the currency there? Is there magic? You have to figure out the world around them because that will speak to the story and how that world will affect them and how they will affect that world. Once you have your answers, it's time to... You thought I was going to say right, didn't you? Well, I wasn't. It's time to outline your story. I know it seems really daunting, but you can do it, minion. If I can do it, you can do it. For now, don't think of it as outlining. Think of it more as playing a game of connect the dots. You remember that game? Connect the dots. La 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 la. Connect the dots. La 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 la. <laughs> so now you're going to play connect the dots. But what do you need to play that? Oh yeah, dots. Here's how you make them. You're going to start off with the the beginning dot, the very first dot, the thing that kicks off your story. And I suggest that you choose the most action-y thing you can think of to kick off that story. With Eighth Grade Bites, the most action-y thing I could think of was running. And the scariest place I could think of running was running in the woods. And the scariest way of running through the woods would be if it were at night and you were barefoot 
And that's how I came up with John Craig running through the woods away from somebody if you haven't read the books. The next thing I like to write is the ending dot. The ending dot is how this story will basically end. You don't have to be incredibly detailed about this. You just need a sentence or two describing basically this is what's gonna happen. Basically the space clowns are gonna take over the underwear factory and win. That's all you need to write. Then what you wanna do is you want to go back between the beginning dot and the end dot, and you wanna put a dot right between them called the high point dot. Now, this is totally the way that I generally write stories or outline stories. Believe me, there are a million ways to do it. There are no wrong ways to outline. I'm just giving you my way, and I'm sure there are a lot more effective ways out there. This is just kind of how I've come to it. The high point dot is where the big action comes in, like action peaks in your story. We are in the middle of things. Your, your poor space clowns are now being faced off against zombies and aliens, and they are in the corner, and a huge battle is taking place with sausages and bread and I, lots of stuff like that, which I've never thought of writing. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back between the beginning dot and the high point dot, and you're going to create other dots between. Those dots will be significant moments in your story that you want to happen that will move you from the beginning to the high point. And then you continue going from the high point to the ending. Just a sentence or two, just laying out basically here are the big beats, as if you were describing a movie to someone, a movie that you have seen in its entirety, but you know they're not going to go see the movie, but they still want to hear what happened. So basically you describe it like that. And then all that's left to do. And you connect them with writing. And don't forget the formula to writing a book, to writing any story. But plus chair equals writing. That's about it for me today, Minions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please continue to leave your questions in the comment section because I am, uh, of course, once a week, one of my vlogs will be focusing on your questions and answering all of them. And so I'm really, really getting some great questions from you guys and I really appreciate it. For now, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and share my videos with anybody you think might benefit from it. In other words, let's grow the Minion Horde. World domination isn't going to take just a few of us. It's going to take all of us. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you later. Don't forget, Piblin Z loves you.